All right, good morning, guys. All right, coffee's done. It's time to load the boat. All right, good morning guys. We are over here at New Smyrna Beach. We are going to uh, pick up some bait and we're gonna head out just across the street at the boat ramp. So um, live bait, New Smyrna Beach, bait and tackle. So we're gonna grab some uh, bait bucket and stuff and uh, go in there. Gonna get some sand fleas, some shrimp. They don't have any crabs today, so we're just gonna go with that and uh, see if we can cast on some mullet or something. All right, see you in a bit. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to say that uh, you can see uh, I'm in my real hazardous fish wear that I just got from Jeremy. So Jeremy, if you're watching this, fits good, I really like it. So if you guys like different channels, support your channels by um, purchasing some of their products that they sell. It supports their channels so they can get um, gas and that stuff for their trips, bait and whatnot. And uh, hopefully soon I'll be having a shirt myself available. But, uh, and if you want to support your channel at no cost to you, that's really important for them after you watch their videos, give them a thumbs up. All right, let's go on in and get some videos. Uh, I'm going to get, uh, what, a dozen, how much? Uh, $3.99. Yeah, I'll probably get five dozen and then I want some, uh, uh, what do you call, sand fleas too. All right. All right, so we're inside getting some bait. Got a great gentleman here uh, helping us out. What's your name? Zach. Zach, okay, Zach. Zach's uh, helping us get some of our baits for today, so uh, uh, stick around, see what we do. All right, so Zach, uh, what kind of fish can we expect to catch today out here? Well, What's running? It all depends on where you're going. Here you go. Look. If you're going out like, let's just say you go out to the inland, they got all kinds of fish. They got redfish, black drum, sheep's head. Right. Snapper, gray snapper, whatever right. Yeah. Yeah. I've caught a trout out of there. Right. Yeah. This I is our. Catching a lot of uh, what do you call it? Bluefish out here. You can eat bluefish. Oh yeah, yeah. We, we caught some bluefish last week, but anyway. All right. Um, we're gonna load up here, get out on the boat, and uh, take it onto the water and see what we get. So follow along. All right, guys, we got the bait. Hopefully that's enough. I got five dozen shrimp and uh, two dozen sand fleas. We're gonna put them in the well, bait well and head out. Okay, guys, we finally made it out of the ramp. So the ramp itself is pretty nice. I just don't like, uh, there's no uh, they don't have any uh, they don't have any mooring cleats to tie up to so it's kind of funky um, it's a little tough to um, launch by yourself I'm still getting used to how to launch the boat here by myself because it's a little bigger so anyway we are heading out to the inlet um, if it's not too rough we might just take it out in the ocean for a spin are you cold uh, no and then um, probably go out to the jetties and anchor up on the jetties see what we can do out there so anyway stick along see what we do I'll catch you up when we're out anchored up and ready to Peggy just caught a fish. Our first one, sheephead. Here's a sheephead, but it's not going to measure, I don't think, to keep. They got to be 12 inches. Where's our, uh, we don't have to measure it. Oh, where's your where's tape? Alright, so 
Anyway, there's a sheep head. Peggy caught it. It's almost 12 inches, but not quite. So I'll try to toss them back. Go get your mama or your daddy. It's your daddy, not your mama. Either one, as long as they're 12 inches or bigger. All right, uh, skunks off the boat, as they say. Be right with you, Bryce. Oh, he's been this, watching you. Okay, this is more important right now <laughs> to, catch, to catch fish. That's not true, Bryce. Don't I got you. Um, go ahead, I'll let you cast it. You did good the first time, so. All right, you can unplug it. It's not. Okay. So, where were you when I called earlier? Ooh. Peggy's got a fish, a nice fish. Keep the tip down and keep it taut. You got a nice sheep head. Just easy. Don't 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 force it. Don't force it. Oh, yeah. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> That's what oh we're looking. My God. That's what. Don't let it get out. No, he ain't gonna get out. That's what we're looking for. Look at that one. All right. I'm hot. Yeah. What do you think of that? Look at there. Look at there. That is a nice fish. All right. Let's take him. Take him out of there. Look at that. 16 inches. That is a nice fish. Look at that fish. Look at the colors on him. Isn't he pretty? All right. All right. All right, well, how'd you like that fish I just caught? That was awesome. Whatever. <laughs> now, Peggy got the fish. Nice fish. I got to double check. I think we're, it's over 12 inches. That's the limit, 12 inches. Uh, it was 16. Um, so I think we're good. I think we're allowed five. I got to double check. Anyway, one for the road. Finally got one on here. We hooked up. I don't know what it is. Feels like a decent fish. Got a damn sheep's head finally. I broke the ice. <laughs> the circle hook right in the side of the mouth where it's supposed to be. That's a nice little sheep head. He's gonna go probably 13 inches. Yeah, he's over at least 12 and a half, so he's legal. All right, well, it took a while, but I finally got a dang fish today. <laughs> We're almost ready to go home. Got something small. Oh, what is it, mango snapper? Oh, it's a little grouper. A little grouper. We caught. It's a little black grouper. Isn't he cute? But we can't keep them. They're closed season right now, but look at it. Nice little grouper. All right, buddy, go get bigger. All right, we're gonna go back after another one. I mean, a pinfish, a big pinfish, a little pinfish. Good for bait, especially grouper if you're offshore. All right, guys, before we get out of here, let me show you um, what we're using for uh, a rig today. Um, we're using uh, sand fleas for a bait. Uh, that's what you can catch on the beach. We bought them, but you can definitely get them on the sand and the surf. Um, we're using like a quarter ounce jig head, uh, just tied right to the line. I got like 30 pound uh, mono, um, and then I'm just using like a 3500 spinning reel and a seven and a half foot rod. Um, 
two of my eyes broke so the rod's kind of crappy and uh, Peggy's using pretty much the same thing um, and we're switching between sand fleas and live shrimp so that's your tackle for the day we got another fish on it's not a big one though whatever it is it looks like oh it's a sea bass catching all so that's a good rock pile over there so we caught a little sea bass black sea bass these are really really good eating if they when they're big enough you can catch them offshore pretty good size but it's a nice little sea bass they got really nice white meat okay guys well uh, i think we're going to call it quits the sun's going down uh, clouds are moving in it's supposed to rain this afternoon started off a real chilly day got pretty nice caught a few fish didn't didn't get to do what we wanted to offshore but um overall um i mean we had a nice day peggy outfished me again but um we got two fish in the box for dinner tomorrow so um and thanks again for taking your time out of your day to watch this and uh all right till we see you next time on the water you know the drill tie lines everybody see ya thanks again